Welcome back to Dandelion Wishes brought to you where our abusive boyfriend is Well, just that <laughs> It's kind of abusive uh, We're gonna go to the cafe because yep. Hurry up. How's that How's vacation? Hey, you want some cake? I'll take some mocha cake. What's that? Mocha flavor. What's a mocha flavor? Order dessert. You're eating again? <laughs> wow. Didn't think I could eat that much. <laughs> Damn. You can't just be like abusing us and then calling us fat, bro. Fuck you. Why'd you hit me? It was a compliment. You're getting violent these days. We're getting violent these days, bud. You gonna cook dinner? Let's go in. Oh, man. This guy. I just can't fucking... Can't let him do this to us. <laughs> um, straw. Why not? We're running out of time for our relationship points. I think like he's not here. I don't know how much time we have to be to do this, but there we go. Let's give him some food. Is that the new snack you ordered? Let me try. Are you drawing? You look different when you're drawing. <laughs> Your eyes seem to shine. Anyway, I kind of like that side of you. Okay. Okay, bud. Don't try to sweeten us. We know what you're doing. Our pressure's going crazy. We need to study. Uh, next time we get a heart thing, we need to decrease stress and, stress and pressure because it's getting pretty high these days. Like, really quickly. Except he's not here. What are we supposed to do? Let's go out, and he's not here, like always. He's always here on the second day, but not on the first day. Mm, let's take a bath like normal. And then he should be here on the second day. Yeah. Um, Let's go to the cinema. A movie? Cool. This place is packed as usual. What should we watch? Yo. How was the movie? It, was, it wasn't that good. Really? This actually isn't my thing either. I think I dozed off a bit. Watch the ending credits. Hey, you know the couples in the movie were doing like this. Ow, oh, you don't have to pinch me. <laughs> Damn. But it was okay, right? Let's watch another movie again, okay? Let's hurry in home. You're gonna make dinner, right? Okay. Alright, buddy. Stress. Our relationship points still aren't where we want them to be. Um. Mm, he's still not here. <laughs> like we literally can't do anything without him here. Stress slightly increases. He's here. Oh, I was saving this for myself, but I'll give it to you. Give you a tuna can. Be careful opening it. Should I do it for you? Uh, yeah, man. We're just let's give him the tuna can back if we can find him. Let's cook. Should I cook something? I put a sponge cake. I think it'll go well with coffee. Okay, so this increases everything, but it also increases our everything else, too. So we don't like that. Because dealing with both at the same time is pretty annoying. Can I decrease this? Okay, stress is fine. Um, pressure is studies. We gotta study. We need one of those other studies, too. Um, it's only me and HeJ in the club room today. There's usually at least four to five people in here. Yee Jung. Huh? Yee Jae approached me, scratching the back of his head. Could I have a word with you for a moment? A word? Okay, sure. Put my hands down and turned to look at Yee Jae. His face is a bit redder than usual. Does he have a fever? Yee Jung, actually. Yeah? He's acting a little weird. What's up with him? His face is so red. I really like you. Ooh. Huh? He likes me? Yeah, I like you too. It's been quite a while since we've known each other. EJ is really nice and sweet and a great guy to hang out with. No, that's not what I beat. No? what? Not what you meant? What I beat is, uh, I really like you. Huh? When I look at you, my heart pounds, and I wish we'd be alone in this room. That's weird that you're saying this in a room that we're not alone in. You're really pretty and sweet, and you look very much like my first love. So whenever I see you, I... Hey, whoa. Am I hearing this right? He just likes me? If you just go out and graduate like this, another guy will take you, and I don't want that to happen. He just, I can't give you up. Please accept my heart. 
EJ came over and grabbed my shoulders with his hands. This is what's going on. EJ likes me. Please think about it seriously. I'll also graduate just a year after you do. It's not like I have no future. I'm working hard on my chicken delivery. <laughs> I'm even going to run my own chicken restaurant someday. Chicken restaurant. If your future up to me, Hijug, I'll earn lots of money and make you happy. EJ will be responsible for my future. I just don't want to be friends anymore, Hijug. I promise I'll make you happy. Please be my girl. And I got the bad end. We got the bad end, everybody. That's what happens when your fucking cat boy doesn't show up. Ever. It's not my fault. He literally wasn't showing up. We time travel back to November 2nd. Where he will hopefully be here. We need to take a rest. Our stress was too high. Yeah, that's just what happens, I guess. Let's, uh, let's reduce pressure off rip here. I don't even know what day we were on. I can't even skip. Oh, okay, we'll just play again. We just gotta speed run our way through it. I guess. Hmm. It's not like we did anything wrong. Literally, Catboy just never showed up, ever. So it's like, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> like, we're getting points with him every time we hang out. We literally just never hang out with him. Because every time, he's literally just not here. You know? He's never, he's never at home, so we can't hang out with him there. And then when he is at home, he's in the room with three other boys, and then we try to get something, we get nobody anyway. So it's like, how are we supposed to, you know, do anything? There's a skip section, that's pretty good. I like that. It is over November 7th. Okay, so he's here, we try to watch the infomercial, and he's not here. I think I should save before those interactions, maybe. Just because, like, if he's not there, we just load... Or there's quick save, right? It's like quick save. Okay. And then we do this, and we counter GC. Nice. We give him food. He never hates food, surely. Okay. And then he's not here. So we, we take our bath. We stay home, because he's not here, obviously. We just do our laundry. We go out. This time he's here. We go to, I don't know cinema again because why not he didn't really like the movie we'll watch the credits and then we continue on and then we uh, uh oops. we do our laundry <clears throat> and then we you know just keep going when he's here we we quick save Okay, and we do the laundry. Oh, he gave us a tuna can. Okay, that's fine. We quick save here. Because he literally never shows up here. Like, ever. He's not here. Okay, now he's in here. Where? Okay, there we go. We give him the food. Nice. November 16th. I think maybe if I just quick save, quick load, it like resets the the, the time. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Whatever. Because it just moved him that last time. Yeah, we're almost there this time. So, we'll just stay home. 18th, we go out. There he is. We'll go to the art gallery. He actually really likes going to the park. Maybe it's not polite to laugh. Oh, really? Okay, I'll behave like a good cat. <laughs> okay, get inspired. Uh, let's try again just to see if it's more than the two boys. Okay, it's just the two boys, but they're still in the same or they're in different spots. So. Maybe that's a daytime thing. Mm, yeah, we barely have any of that. 
Uh, so that couldn't have been the problem. Let's watch the infomercial. November 21st. Okay. We will do this. Maybe. We encounter Jisoo. We give him food. We were going to give him the tuna can last time. I forgot. We'll do this. We'll quick save. Because he should be here. And then we'll watch the infomercial. He's not here. We quick load. And he's still here. So let's take a nap. No. Let's quick load again. Now he's in here. Where we found Ji Yun, which we don't want. I accidentally quick saved. Okay. <laughs> let's just stare at him. You freak. Apples. <laughs> Came to get some apples. Don't tell Eddie. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> anyway. Um... Now we're at 71. Let's infomercial put on makeup. Let's put on makeup because that'll help our beauty stuff. Um, we have two hearts now, so maybe we're in like the territory we needed to be in. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, we're further now. So <sighs> It's been raining since last night. It's the weekend, so I we can't go anywhere because of the rain and the weather made it feel a bit gloomy. I don't like these rainy days because the sky is gray and the weather becomes chilly. On a rainy day like this, I want to sit down with a sketchbook and draw a day with drinking nice hot tea. I don't think my tea's hot anymore. I sit against the glass door leading to the balcony. Open up my sketchbook and I can hear the thick drops of rain beating on the window. Jisoo, who has turned into a cat, slinked over to see what I'm doing. Jihei and Jiyun seem to have gone shopping for groceries and Jiwoo went out somewhere by himself. Jiyun has been taking a bath for a long time. Seemed to like the rubber duck that I bought him a while ago. Is that not Jiyun with the Y? The cat? A long time <clears throat> to play in the bath with him. It's been a while since the house was this quiet. Picked up a pencil and started sketching. Jisoo and his cat self sat quietly next to me. Hot steam was coming out of my cup of tea. I should concentrate well in this quiet and peaceful atmosphere. Drawing is a hobby of mine, though I, which I, which I relieve my stress. You draw lines and connect them together on a blank piece of paper to create something. The best thing about it is that you, if you make a mistake, you can always erase it and draw again. I have no pressure of being graded either, as I would be on an exam. And I'm given the freedom to draw whatever I want. I usually draw small animals like birds or squirrels. The reason why I draw these animals is probably because I envy their freedom. The animals fly and run just as their instincts tell them to. I sometimes draw the landscape, but I never draw people. Drawing green grass, mountain, trees, or flowers makes me feel relaxed. Today I'm drawing a small bird. A bird that's sitting on a windowsill, ready to fly. Right before he's about to take off into the blue sky. Food giver. I turn to see who's calling me. Jisoo was back to being a human. I was too focused into drawing that I didn't realize you changed. Jisoo was sitting down, looking at me. Yeah? That guy from last time. You really aren't together? Shut up, dude. After we confessed our feelings towards each other, I told Jisoo that there was nothing between me and HeeJ. In fact, I told him several times. Yes, how many times do I have to tell you? Then I want to know. Know what? That is... I stopped my hand and looked up to see Jisoo. His face was a bit red. Come to think of it, this is the first time the only two of us are in the living room together. About you. What? About me? I want to know more about you. Not knowing how to react, I just looked at him. He wants to know about me for who I am? You want to know about me about what? Well, for example, the type of fish you like to eat. Your favorite movie. Or what you want to do in the future. Or why you're always so busy. And the type of cat you like. <laughs> okay. The cat I like. You know, I thought about it and I know nothing about you. It doesn't make any sense that I don't know anything about the girl I like. True. Girl that he likes. I can feel myself blushing. Girl. How can I concentrate on the game when he says these things? Concentrate on the game? Concentrate on the game? What game? What was she playing? Come to think of it, Jisoo is the first person to tell me that he wants to know me better. Instead of I want to know you, I've heard that you have to do this and that even more. When you draw, you look really different than you usually are. Different? You look really pretty and alive. You know, different than you usually do. Ugly and dead inside. I look alive, Jisoo continued. When I first saw you, I thought you were just a nerd. <laughs> a 
when I observed you closely. You were just living life in a fixed routine. You go to school, then cram school, then come home, and school. I couldn't feel any passion from you doing those things, but you still worked hard. Frankly, I didn't understand why you were trying so hard at something you didn't even enjoy. I was surprised by Jisoo's correct observation. So that's how my life looks in the eyes of other people. But you look different when you're drawing. When you're drawing, you look like you're having a good time. His statement touched me. Because it tells me that he's watching me interested. Drawing is one of those things I actually like to do. No one tells me what to draw. I get to decide for myself. I didn't tell him anything yet. And, and yet, Jisoo figured out exactly what I like to do. I was a bit embarrassed and happy at the same time. I didn't know how to express these mixed feelings and instead stared at the tip of the pencil that I was holding. So I thought about it. What do you like to do? What kind of person are you? Why do you work so hard on things that you don't like to do when you actually have to do when you actually have something you enjoy doing? There are still so many things that I don't know about you. Jesus you scooted closer to me. He's close. Tell me more about you. I felt Jisoo's soft hair brushing against my cheek. I could feel his breath in my left ear. I put my sketchbook down. I couldn't concentrate on drawing. I couldn't bear to look at him. I cast a quick side glance at him and saw that he was grinning. What are you doing? My heart is beginning to pound. What is he trying to do? You don't like me this close? I know you don't. <laughs> okay. I don't know how to answer these whenever he gives me these direct questions. My body became so stiff out of nervousness. I want to know more about you. I think my heart would skip a beat if he came any closer. His face is getting closer. If he comes any closer, my body won't move. I can't move. I should turn away, but I don't want to. But the moment felt long and magical. My mind became blank. I couldn't meet his eyes and could only stare at the tip of his nose approaching closer. I could hear my heart beating wildly. Hey, I used all the shampoo with the bath. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I immediately jumped away from Jisoo. And I quickly hid my red cheeks behind my hand. He jumped? Yeah. Did you just see that? What should I do? I peeked at Jisoo through my fingers. Jisoo had a disgruntled look on his face. He seemed to have no shame whatsoever. Instead, as a glowering at ji Yun with a look that could kill. Why are you covering your face? Can't you see that Jisoo was giving you that dirty look? Huh? I answered in a small voice with a lowering my hands. Without lowering my hands. ji Yun walked over to me. And whether I wasn't sure whether Ji Yun was aware, unaware of Jisoo giving me a dirty look on purpose and ignoring him. I could smell the fruit shampoo from his hair. Uh ho. Ji Yun places his hands on his hips and peered into my face. I don't know why I'm feeling so nervous when I didn't do anything wrong. I see, I see. You're dripping water on the floor. Yeah, well, I'll give up. My intention wasn't even good anyway. Huh? Surprised by his unusually cold voice, I lowered my hands from my face. Jun had a forlorn look on his face. Not having my wishes fulfilled. <laughs> I'm used to that. What wish? Mm -hmm. Jisoo stood up, put his hand on top of Jiyun's head. What's going on? Jisoo didn't look angry anymore. Instead, they seemed to be silently communicating with each other. What is it? What's going on? You know, I opened my mouth but didn't exactly know what to say. Jisoo let out a small sigh and walked toward the kitchen. There was an awkward moment between Jiyun and I. I think this is the first time I've ever felt awkward in front of ji Yun. ji Yun, are you all strawberry? What? Buy me some strawberry shampoo, huh? ji Yun is back to his normal self. You know what you just said? What does that... Oh, and I'm going to go out more often from tomorrow, and I'm going to sleep out too for many, many days. ji Yun smiled brightly. Seemed like his usual self, but it seems different. Sleep out? Sleep out where? Don't worry. Everyone's nice to me because I'm a cute cat. That's not the point. Sleep out with his cat ears? Something might happen. They might put him in trouble. You don't? Jiyun smiled. You have other things to worry about now, right? Is he talking about Jisoo? Jiyun had a no with, said with a nonchalant shrug, smiling. The same tone of voice, the same smile, but something's changed. Suddenly felt a wall between us. This isn't right. Jiyun, are you... As I tried to talk to him, he turned himself into a cat. Without any response, he jumped onto the sofa. Looking at him curling and closing his eyes, I felt as if I shouldn't say anything to him now. Wow. That was tough to look at. Ugh.